Welcome to my channel. Today we'll be going through Envision Math Book 2.0 Volume 1, Fourth Kindergarten. As you can see, we already completed and loved this math workbook, so you know I'm speaking from experience in this review. And keep in mind, whether you're a new or veteran homeschool mom, watching till the end is always helpful to see if this kindergarten math book fits your learner's learning style and that you will like and approve the math concepts and transitions from beginning to end, from counting to adding and to subtraction, because you don't want to hit a roadblock mid to end of the year, scrambling to find something new if the transitions are too difficult or too dull for your homeschool child. We use this Envision Math Workbook for my daughter in kindergarten and she really enjoyed doing math because of the colorful pages the simplicity of the layout it made it an easy way for her to grasp and truly understand how to count add and subtract i have used envision for all my children including my eldest and i can say versions k through second grade are the best you can find they are full of color they are engaging and really fun to do this Envision Kindergarten Math Workbook is 506 pages, excluding the glossary. So that means that this is a huge workbook and is very versatile. You can master a concept and choose to move on. You can use it as a loop curriculum. But either way, you can really make it fit your homeschool day. And with so many extra pages, that leaves plenty of room for extra practice and that means there's no need for any supplemental material or to purchase any other practice math workbook for your little learner. And another reason why this workbook is really great, especially for beginning new homeschool mothers, is that it has the directions exactly what to say on the bottom of each and every page. So you'll see a green or light green text box on the bottom of every page, right and left side. It gives you uh, the directions on how to complete each page, as well as how to tell your child the directions. And for new homeschool mothers, sometimes explaining how to complete an assignment can be the most daunting part of teaching. So this workbook really makes it easy for each and every page. You don't have to bring out an extra teacher's edition or anything like that. You just bring out the notebook, you can read it along, or you can read it yourself and then go ahead and explain what to do on the assignment. And each line is also numbered or lettered according to the number or letter on the page. So if there are multiple concepts within the page, each problem has its own separate directions. Or it lets you know one through four, or one through three, and then four is a whole nother set of directions. So this really makes teaching so much more enjoyable, less daunting for those new homeschool moms, and really just is the last piece of the puzzle while you're teaching math as a curriculum. And now let's talk about cost and price of Envision's math workbook for kindergarten. So I found this on Rainbow Resources as a homeschool bundle starting around $128 plus tax and shipping depending when you buy it and what the minimum requirements are for free shipping on that website. But if you're savvy and on a budget like myself and you have multiple kids, the easiest thing you could do is put the name in the search engine, click under shopping and see the different ranges and prices that are available and the condition of the workbook. I have seen this workbook recently while filming this video for $4.99 on eBay. There are also different versions of this workbook, so just check it out. So do your research and try to get the best price possible. That way you can use the extra savings to purchase more curriculum or supplemental curriculum for your homeschool year. And allow me to introduce myself. My name is Stephanie. I'm a homeschool mom to three kids, fourth grade and under. And on this page, I really enjoy sharing my curriculum reviews, flip throughs, day in a life, and of course our weekly adventures. And it would mean so much to me if you would like and subscribe. And as we continue with this flip through, 
Some things to keep in mind is to look for the transitions from counting to adding and subtracting and to see the flow of chapters and learning concepts to make sure it covers everything that your child will need as well as the core concepts that they may or may not already be familiar with.